another area I don't really care for too much is this area. I'm going to just right click on this and do inspect element and it's going to take me right to that section but I need to go up just a little bit to find the actual div. There we go. You can see the highlighted area. So I'm going to click on that and here's something else. It's another width of less than 980 so I'm just going to change that to 980 and it's text align right. And there you go. So whether you think that looks good or not, I don't know. I don't think it looks that great, but it looks better than it did. So these are just some ways you can play around with this and get a layout that you like. But now remember, this is just temporary. None of these changes have been made permanently because we haven't actually changed the file. So the first thing we want to do is go back to all of our changes. And you could have been doing this all the way along, but sometimes it's better to actually make your changes and then change the items in your text editor so that you don't make changes and then you have to try to remember how to undo them. So the first change that we made was in the header logo. And what we did is we did a text align center and we changed the width to 980 pixels. So now you have to figure out where is header logo located in your global CSS file. Well, it tells us. It says global CSS line 214. And I'm going to show you two, two different ways to find it. That's obviously one way. You can just go to the global CSS file and go right to line 214 and you'll be at header logo. So let's go try that. Let's open up our text editor. So you can use some of the tools. For instance, in navigation, you can go to a line. It's otherwise, you can do control G. So let's just try that says line 214 if I remember right. And there we go, header logo. Now what I'm going to show you here actually we'll be modifying these three items primarily. So I'm just going to scroll up a little bit. But let's say that I didn't know the line and I didn't know how to use Firebug quite right but I do have this file. So there's another way to find it which is edit find and replace. Let's go find. And it brings up this box down here. So if you're wondering how to find header logo, you could literally just copy this right here. And I'm just going to do a copy and then I'm going to paste that down here. And what do you know? It takes us right to the pound symbol header underscore logo which is exactly where we need to be and it's also line 214. So that's just two different ways to find that. So let's just get this where we can see it a little bit better. We're going to be working primarily with these three right here. And all I'm going to do is go back and copy all this stuff. In fact I can copy everything if I wanted to. I'm going to do control C, copy, and back to the text editor, highlight it all, and paste. Okay, so now we've got the same information, but we did a text align center, and we've got the width at 980 pixels. All right, let's go back to the page, and then we modified the image class logo. What we did is we eliminated the float, and that's really the only change we made. So we don't necessarily have to copy anything here. We just need to go to image.logo, which is on line 219, and that's right below. Let's go back to the image editor. It's image.logo. So we just will delete this line. And that's the only change we need to make there. Okay, let's go back. And we also made a change to div ID header right. Now the change that we made there was the width. So I could I could highlight everything and copy it or I can just copy that right there. Do control C or copy either way. Okay, let's go to the text editor. And right now in header right, we've got a width already, so I either could just type over that or I'm going to highlight it and paste. There's my width, 980 pixels. Okay. So if I remember right, those were the three changes, three big changes that we made. So let's go ahead and just reload this page. It's going to erase all the changes that we made. And it's going to put it back to its default condition. 
All right, now one thing we have not done yet is we have not saved our changes in the global CSS file. So there's a couple of different ways of doing it. You can usually go save. I like to use control less, but because I'm doing the video, I like to show you that I'm actually saving it. So that saves it. Now I need to be sure that that got uploaded to my web host, and it says the file has changed. And I need to click yes if I want to upload this back to the server. Now essentially it took the this file, which is on my local computer, and it uploaded the modified version back to the web host now. So now we should be working off of these changes. Okay, so let's be sure that that's true. Let's click reload. And here we can see most of our changes. Now it appears that I did miss this change right here. I forgot to change the width on that. But we do have the logo centered and we do have the full width header right. I just need to change this. So let's go ahead and inspect that element. 